Hi there, and welcome back to another episode of Soul Align Success. Today, I'm going to talk about why you don't need a certification to start your spiritual coaching business. So recently I had a chat with a woman who thought she needed to go get a coaching certificate in order to start her spiritual business. And I just wanted to talk about this for a second because I see oftentimes spiritual entrepreneurs um, going out and getting certification after certification after certification in order to finally feel that they are good enough to offer their services online. And I need to speak to this because I actually don't think you need a coaching certificate at all. And here's why. At least the women that are attracted to me, the teachers, healers, and light workers that are being divinely guided by spirit and they are open channels or they are opening up to being a channel when they find me to allow the divine to work through them, right? There's a trust that needs to occur in this process. There's a, there's, there's a commitment to being a vessel. There's a commitment to being a facilitator there's a commitment to being a channel of divine service and when you make that commitment and you take that oath so to speak the divine starts working through your life in miraculous ways and you open up to receiving the guidance and being that channel holding that sacred space and allowing people to integrate the work that you facilitate right so you don't need a coaching certificate per se. However, if you're being called to take some kind of uh, certification program or something like that, because, um, because you're really truly being called at a soul level to integrate some aspect of that into your, into your business, that's one thing. Is it great to learn, you know, skills regarding working with people and how to um, work with people in a group setting and things like that? Yes. However, if you're going after certification after certification after certification, this is what I'm referring to. When you keep reaching outside of yourself as a distraction to trust the guidance that's coming to you and meant to go through you and out into your coaching container, right? The space that you're holding for people to do the transformative work. Recognize that you are already an expert of your story and of your transformation and everything that you've accomplished thus far and, and, and your own healing journey and all of the, the techniques and the tools and all of the wisdom and everything that you bring to the table, as well as being an open channel to receive guidance, which takes practice to be an open channel, but if you're watching my work and resonating with my work, then you definitely are stepping onto that high priestess path where you are an open divine channel and you have a commitment to help uh, others by being in divine service. There's a trust though around this that needs to occur. And so if you're reaching outside of yourself to try to validate your worthiness as a coach, as a teacher, as a healer, then I can say that those are just um, distractions to keep you from trusting your own natural innate gifts and wisdom that you already hold. Everything that you're going to be able to teach someone and help them through, everything that you're gonna be able to help them through already exists within you. It's the experiences, it's all of the, the ways that you've already um, facilitated your own transformation. And so for example, I don't have a coaching certification and I help people get massive transformations in their life in my spiritual mentorship program and I help women uh, grow their business. I don't have a degree in marketing. I don't have a degree in business development. I've been an entrepreneur my whole life, so I've been learning in that regard, right? My life experience is my teacher. You know, I have a, I'm certified as a Reiki energy healer, right? Um, 
uh, and also a yoga teacher and meditation stuff. But these were things that I've incorporated along my path as part of my own healing journey, right? So my experiences and my story and how I've made it through my own, um, my own transformation as well as being an open willing participant with the divine to allow the divine work to work to me and through me and having full trust and faith in that and this part i really want to emphasize because this is the most important part forget all the other certifications they don't even really matter those were just things you know for example in my story that i've acquired by going through my own journey and wanting to learn something at the deepest level so why not go get certified in something if i really want to learn it learn it right so that's just the way i am but it's not required for you to be a catalyst as as a, in someone's life to transform their life what is required is that you own your gifts and you own your story and your transformation and you own and allow the wisdom that already exists within you to come through and you do open to being this channel and vessel for divine service to work through you. You allow your life to be the expression of the divine that expresses outward in everything you do, including your business. This is being an open channel to connect with what already is, the essence of all that is, but allow your life to be the physical expression of that, first in your own experience and then being an uplifter to others. This is your primary focus, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, that the ultimate certification you're going to be able to get you already have with your connection to the divine. There is nothing more powerful. The one element that's missing from all the different healing modalities out there, even holistic, even holistic, which means, you know, mind, body, spirit, which encompasses all, even the holistic coaching field is severely missing the spiritual element. They have mind down and they have body down, but the spiritual element is severely overlooked and this is the most important ele element in my opinion they're all important but it is the one that is completely overlooked that you are being called to step in um, as this spiritual catalyst right and you're not going to find that in a certification i don't you're not going to find that in a book you're not going to find that in a class you're going to find that through the experiential wisdom in this lifetime and all the ancient wisdom that you hold and all of the wisdom that you're made available to as you step onto this path of service, that's your certification, right? The divine is the one that you're getting a certification from. And when you fully own and accept that, you'll recognize that all the rest of these pieces of paper are not necessary. And again, I'm not dogging certifications right now. So if there's something that you want to go get a certification in NLP, hypnosis, you know, maybe go get a coaching certificate if that's what you're truly being called to do to learn more about, you know, how to coach, uh, how to hold space, how to facilitate conversations and stuff like that, then definitely. There's a difference though when you're using the certifications as a place to hide or sort of like, uh, yeah, a place to hide really because you're still not trusting your own gifts and you think if you can just go get one more piece of paper, then you'll be credible. Then someone will trust you. Then someone will hire you or then you'll make money or this or that. And that is not true. If that's what's happening in your experience, this is the, I'm talking to you specifically, that's never gonna happen. That's never going to happen. In order for you to be successful in building a spiritual soul aligned business, you have to come full circle in owning the gift and the wisdom and all of the, um, all, all of the talent and all of the, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? All of the, the gifts really that you bring to the table. You can't get a certification in your own story. You can't get a certification in uh, your own approach, which is divinely guided. So you have to be able to trust that. 
And so I hope this video finds you well. If this resonates with you, I'd love to hear your questions or your comments. Please leave them below this video. Uh, if it really resonates with you, then I'd love to see you in my Soul Aligned Success Masterclass, which you can find the link below this video wherever you happen to be watching it. And I look forward to another episode with you very soon. Namaste.